And if you commit me, I will now ask, how do they even know mommy was going to come back to the unveiling the veil city of testimonies? This broadcast is coming to you live from the unveiling the veil city of testimonies, where our mom just drives in to the compound and eventually all of these women, I, I wonder how they call themselves, and then eventually gather here to get some benevolent outreach from our mommy. It's so amazing. Since 9 a.m. this morning, mommy has been doling out. You can imagine that our mother, since 9 a.m. this morning, doled out deliverance, healing, the prophetic and the word, and uh, eventually empowered some widows and some other women. And then it didn't end there. Mommy eventually made lunch for some of these women. And then uh, this evening, I, I just I can't imagine how they gathered like this. How they got informed about mommy's coming. How did they know mommy was coming to the unveiling the veil city? And then you would always trust that mommy would never leave any content in the alabaster bus. She would definitely dole out everything. I, I, I rarely see mommy, you know, go home with cash in her possession. She's always, she's always emptying the alabaster box. What a woman for this generation. What a woman God has given to our generation. What a woman God has given to, this, to our people. Thank you. Thank you, Mommy Rose, for all you do for the poor. Thank you for this outreach. This is amazing. This is amazing. And these are nursing mothers. Mommy reaching out to nursing mothers. Mommy is quite excited doing this for Jesus. She's always very happy doing this for Jesus. Reaching out to the poor for our Lord Jesus Christ. Oh, I can tell you that the joy in the heart of this woman cannot be, cannot be quantified. They are so happy. They are so excited. They'll be going home with something. And then they can make food at home. I can tell you people that these are not uh, members of Unveiling the Veil ministry overtly. This woman, I just wonder how they gather and where they gather from. But one thing is certain, mommy never leaves any stone unturned until they are quite touched, until they are absolutely reached, you know. She does everything possible, making sure there are no leftovers in the alabaster box. And this she does without any form of discrimination against religion or any or any religion that is not Christianity. Mommy reaches out to the Muslim, she reaches out to the Christian, she reaches out to the Hindu, she reaches out to everyone that comes her way. Hallelujah. Amen. Mommy empowered this woman with a hundred thousand and she has started the business already. And she gave me this. Oh, and she came back to appreciate mommy with one of uh, the, 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 the goods she sells. Okay. Uh, on Friday, come and collect another hundred thousand. Yeah. And mommy promises to give her an extra hundred thousand. That's the daughter of the woman overwhelmed at mommy's announcement. Anna, why are you crying at me? The daughter of the woman is amazed at mommy's announcement to give okay. her mom an additional hundred thousand to add in the business. She helped me. Oh, oh. This, this broadcast is coming to you live from the unveiling the veil city of testimonies. 
testimonies and wonders, testimonies and empowerment. The song you're hearing on the background is uh, Oh, Mommy Gives Out, what was just given to her by the woman she empowered to start a business. That is Mommy for you, giving it all out. Nothing left in the alabaster box. I can assure you that whatever enters into Mommy's coffers, everything goes out to support the poor, to support the needy, to support the have-nots. That is the woman God has given to us in this generation. What an awesome experience we are having this generation with this kind of unique woman of God. Well, I, I, like I was just going to say, the song you are hearing on the background uh, would be Mommy's 26th song in the last one year. She has uh, written, composed, produced and even made 12 videos out of these 26 songs and then uh, 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 when, when you hear these songs you, you, you just get amazed at the kind of ingenuity that our mommy our God has bestowed on our mommy this is a rare ingenuity this this is this is rare this is rare this is rare uh, 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 making her a prophetess uh, a philanthropist uh, a, a composer, a preacher of the word, uh, a, a supporter of mankind. Uh, you, you can also call her an instrumentalist and by the grace of God, uh, the chief executive officer of uh, uh, Ogula, uh, Ogula Worldwide because it's about Ogula. And then for those of us who don't understand what Ogula means, Ogula means it is finished. That was the last word Jesus said on the cross of Calvary. And then this is exact the exact assignment uh, mommy is fulfilling in this generation. It is about Ogula. Ogula, when you meet her, it is indeed finished. Just to give you a cursory view, a cursory view through a, a, a switch pan or a direct pan of what is happening here and the people mommy is absolutely going to reach out to tonight. Just take a look. Are they here, so? Very lively woman. Mm. 
Okay. Amen. Okay. In the, in the prayer of our Lord, Jesus taught us to pray. He said, when you pray, pray like this. And in one of the lines, he said, give us this day our daily bread. And this is indeed what mommy is doing here. Her child. Her child had a... Let me see that thing. Uh, we, we, we may not be able to capture that. Yes. Yeah, they see us. Okay, but we may not be able to capture that uh, because of the rules. And the on, uh... husband left her when the child was three months old. Okay. Now, the woman is suffering. She does a uh, grinding of uh, pepper. Mm. What's it called? Toma um, pepper, goosey. Yes. That small grinding machine. Yes. She has it. And before she returned from the hospital, mm. she was already stolen. Hmm. And that's what she survived. Hmm. Uh, she doesn't have any means of survival. Hmm. No talk again, you don't do. Uh, James. Oh, yeah, that means James. And indeed, we all know what will happen after now. Mommy will replace that uh, grinding machine uh, that is a medium of survival for the woman and her children. The, hus the husband abandoned her. The husband abandoned her when this boy was three months old. And then he had uh, an umbilical hynia, a terrible hynia. And then uh, for some years now, the boy has gone through this terrible pain until just recently when uh, a surgery was conducted. And after the surgery, uh, this boy uh, does not have anything to eat. By the time the woman returned from hospital, uh, her grinding machine that she uses uh, for livelihood uh, was stolen. And then uh, you, you, can, you can understand the situation around her. Things got washed, tore off, no food for the children, nothing to lay hold on. And then mommy has uh, already... Uh, pushed her to the Ogula Media Crew where uh, a decision will be uh, immediately taken to procure her uh, a grinding machine that she can use to continue her business for uh, her herself and her children to be able to survive. That's the woman God has given us in this generation. The woman committed to the plight of the needy. Wow. Mommy does this with so much joy and fulfillment in her heart. So much joy and fulfillment in her heart.
out one of the nursing mothers in hijab.
So this is what you do. This is what you do. This is what How many children do you have? Five children. Now granite like this, they carry feed them. Yes, mom. Oh, yeah. oh, Jesus, mom. Oh, 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 oh. God, nobody can to bless you. I'm a fabulous. Oh, Jesus. Okay. That woman is just a poor granite hawker. And then uh, her entire capital used in the granite business, as you can see, is less than a thousand naira. And then uh, mommy empowers her. Uh, pro or, or rather promises to empower her.
This broadcast is coming to you live from the unveiling the veil city of testimonies. Our mommy is joyfully, joyfully attending to the needy, joyfully executing the assignment of our Lord Jesus Christ here on earth and in this generation. What a wonderful man of God. I mean, I don't even hear what you're talking. You already see what you're talking about. Give me money, my Why are they in prison? Why are they in prison? I'm going. Why are they in prison? I'm going. 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 I'm Okay, your children borrow money. No, not me. I don't. Why are your children in prison? Why are they in prison? The people come for me say my give them money so I can go and go village. Excuse me. Are you understanding what she's saying? Yes, I will see you on Friday. What is she saying? She don't tell me this thing. What is she? She said. She said. I have to go and die. Why can't I go? Okay. These are the chronicles of what mommy goes through each day. But uh, the day is already dark. I'll beg to discontinue uh, the live broadcast.